Zach, good view, Clarico. A last start winner down the straight. What did you make of that performance? Well, he's always promised a lot. He's been a good worker right from the time he's come to Hong Kong, but he was a little bit immature and a little bit weak. He's starting to put things together now. He's um, not easy to handle in the mornings. He wants to go a bit hard. He can run off the track and he can get his head up. So the 1,000 metres was nice for him. Uh, didn't have to do a lot on him, just jump and let him cruise along. Going around the corner might be a little bit different, but he's certainly uh, working well and hopefully he can take some confidence out of that effort. What about an extra 200 metres? I don't think the distance is a problem. What about his work leading and he's had a bit of time between runs, Zach? Yeah, he's, he's just a, a hard horse to manage, that's why. Um, like I, I touched on, he, he tries to do everything wrong in the mornings and it's just a matter of trying to get him in the right frame of mind. Um, but Dennis hasn't, hasn't pushed him. Um, he's let him go through his paces nicely and it's, it's more about the mental, mental aspect for him, not, uh, not the physical aspect and, and ability because that's there. It's just trying to get him to do everything right on race day. Karis Predison's choice won his third start last time out. Uh, what was the best part of that win, do you think? Uh, I think his best part, of course, was in a straight, the way he, he, he fights on and, and, and had that, that strong finish. Um, you know, he's, 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 he's shown uh, from the start that he, that he likes to, you know, just be running a bit quietly. So I went out that day and thought, you know, let's, let's ride him the same way he, he, he ran first time out. And I thought the win was, was a very good win, actually. Did it take him a little while to hit top stride? Yeah, uh, he, he, I had to get into him uh, as soon as we turned into the straight and it took him a long time to, uh, to get on wine, but when, when he did, he, he, he found his best the last uh, 100 to 50 metre, yeah. So with that in mind, could, be, could he be a horse that stretches out over a bit of distance in the future? Yeah, I would think so. Uh, I've, I've definitely mentioned it to Michael. Uh, he, he's got it in mind, but he said, uh, you know, we, we give him one more 1,200 and, and after that we can uh, think about his future. Do you like him as a horse, Karis? Yeah, he's actually a very smart horse. Uh, he's, he's just a little horse, but uh, he, he tries very hard. I think uh, towards next season, when after the summer break, when he, when, he, when he gets a little bit more condition into him, he'll be a better horse. I'm just looking at the race on Sunday, drawn 10, would it be the plan to ride him patiently again? You would think so. Uh, of course, now he's got, he's got more weight to carry. Uh, we don't be really too far behind, but uh, you know, from that gate, uh, we'll have to, to come up with a plan and, uh, and give him his best uh, chance to, to hit the line again. New Year Ride Champion Supreme on Sunday. He ran well in a slowly run race last time out. Back to 1,800 metres. You're jumping back on board. What do you make of his chances? Yeah, he's, um, he's, he's been racing well all season. Um, he hasn't quite hit the board again since I won on him earlier in the season. But um, like I say, he, his form's been good between here and Happy Valley. So, yeah, you know, he, he closed off quite well the last time, like you say. Um, it was a messy run race, which they normally are over that distance. But... Um, Look, he, he feels in good form, he's in good heart and uh, he, um, he doesn't mind the distance and uh, it's a relatively small field for, for, for this sort of class. So, yeah, look, he'll go in there, he's in good nick, so I'd be quite hopeful he can run a strong race. Were you happy with the way that he worked with you earlier this week? Yeah, he's, his track work is very good. He's, he's very, actually, I reckon you could let him go around on his own, he's that, he's that good a ride. But, um, look, he, his track work is perfect, he, he feels really good and... Uh, the distance, the track, everything's in, in good order. And a small field, I think, like I say, will suit him. So if they go slower or faster, it doesn't really matter to him. Um, I think, he, I think he, can, um, he can run a strong race. Blake Valley and Dream, you know the horse. Well, gee, he's been consistent this season. He sure has, yes. He's, he's a horse that really, really tries hard. Um, full credit to Francis Loy, his trainer. He's continued to get the horse to race well all season and keep improving um, you can tell by his ratings he's kept raising the bar and um, kept running well um, as he keeps performing in every race and he's going to have to this weekend again as he's gone up another three points but he has conditions to suit a thousand meters at Chartin that seems to be his best conditions and I think he can be competitive again. Narrowly beaten last time out by War of Courage. We've seen Larson come out of that race and win on Wednesday night. Do you think that's a strong form race he's coming out of? I believe so. I think Larson's form, um, Frank's um, Valiant Dreams form for this race. You know, Larson won a very competitive race on Wednesday night. Um, Valiant Dream beat him comprehensively uh, last start. And um, 
Yeah, I, I think that that um, that form line, you know, we have to be confident going into the weekend through that. And just looking at that last run of his, is that the, the way to ride him, just to, say, have him midfield and then ask him for that effort in the last few hundred metres? Look, I believe so. I went into that race thinking that, um, you know, I've ridden him tough in the past on speed, but I, I believe that he's just better stalking and having last shot at them. Um, he's a very strong horse. Um, when you see him in the yard, he's very thick, thick set and compact, and I just think if you can time your run right to have him overpower him late, I reckon that's the best way. Give the lifeline, Karras. You've ridden him in a trial recently. You also rode him at his last start. How's the horse going? He's going very well. Uh, of course, uh, it was a shame last time that uh, you know he, he went up and had to be pulled out the race. But uh, the time before, I thought he, he, he ran very good race. Uh, he did not uh, have the best run in the straight. Uh, when, when he did get the run, he finished off nicely. And um, the trial last week was, was decent enough to go to races. So he's, he seems to be in the right road. You mentioned that issue that he had in the gates at his last intended start. Has he ever given you any troubles at the start? No, he, actually, he don't have any trouble but he, he has uh, you know got uh, got a habit of jumping slow so he's never he's never done anything silly in the gate so you know it does happen uh, sometime but like I said he's he, he's pulled up well from that uh, his trial was was fantastic uh, I think he's he's in good shape and when you look at the race you've got top score anonymous both in the race speed map suggests they'll go forward. Do you see there being the sort of pace that this horse needs? Yeah, that uh, that that should help him. Uh, he needs he needs a good speed on. Uh, you know, he he's not a type of horse that he, he can uh, he can sprint from a slow pace. So if we have the speed on, that will give him his chance. De Kripsack, he's a horse you've had a bit to do with since he's come to Hong Kong, back to 1,400 metres after running in the Derby. Is this more of his trip? Oh, I would say it is, yeah. Um, although he, he did run a nice race in the derby. Um, they rode him quietly and he finished the race off nicely. But um, he, he's been a little bit frustrating. Um, he seems to have had his chances a few times and hasn't been able to quite get the job done and close it off. But maybe going up to 2,000 metres will toughen him up a little bit. And He's just got to run through the line. He, he's putting himself in a position to be able to win. He's just not closing it off. He came here with good form from Ireland. He was placed in the Irish 2000 guineas over there. We've seen that formula improvement with a horse like Exultant. Has he got the feel of a horse with natural ability? Uh, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. Uh, he's very small. He's got a short little stabby action. Um, he's not a flash worker in the mornings. He's obviously got some ability and, and got some engine. We can see that, but how far he's going to go, I'm not really sure. And also in that race is perfect match who you rode last time out. What did you make of his run that day? Yeah, it was. Um, it didn't go to plan. He missed the start and got back um, on a day where horses on speed were favoured and horses inside were favoured. So he sort of ended up in the wrong part of the track. And the way the race was run didn't really suit him. He, he was okay. Um, I, you know, would have liked to see him close it off a little bit more. But it's not his racing style. He, he likes to get out there in front and bowl along. And if he can jump well, I'm, I'm sure he can bounce back to form.